So I'm not an apologist for the Israeli government, but let me ask you, what religion was Jesus? What did he believe? Uh, yeah, well, obviously he was Jew, but oh. modern-day Judaism is Hold on, is hold on. Really... Time out, time out, time out. No, no, no. Where was Jesus born? Well, some might say he was the first Christian. Well, hold on. Time out. Well, wh where was Jesus born? Why does that matter? Well, no, do you know? Why does that matter? Okay, yeah, you're obviously not a Christian. You don't know where Jesus is born. He's born in Bethlehem. Okay. In Judea. So, and he was raised in Nazareth, and yeah. he walked on the water in Capernaum. What country are those places in right now? What does it matter? If it does matter. You know why? Because yeah. when I went to Israel, I came in contact with a living God that walked on water and rose Lazarus from the dead. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. So, you're going to check it out. Charlie Cook takes down anti Israel students. Okay? This is going to be beautiful to watch. Uh, I call him Charlie Kick because I love kicking us. But his repronunciation is Charlie Cook. Um, I'm sorry for as many of you that can't hear my words properly. I'm trying to talk slower so you guys can fully understand more better. I'm sorry for the inconvenience you guys passed through. I would love us to check this video out together. So let's get right into it. So uh, speaking of America first, I have to point out that you spent half your speech talking about a foreign country thousands of miles away. Uh, which brings me to my question. Um, last year, Turning Point USA hosted the Young Jewish Leadership Summit, during which you said, so a Christian that's not pro-Israel, I doubt they actually love their Bible. And I will stand by that statement. If you are a Christian that doesn't love Israel, then you take your Bible way, way, way too much for granted." End quote. So who are you to question the faith of Christian Americans that don't support a foreign country of a different religion that has spied on us, attacked us, and lied to us, like about WMDs in Iraq? And especially given your recent suggestion that Israel allowed the recent Hamas attacks to happen, why would you support a country that would do that? And do you still stand by your statement like you said you would? No, I, I definitely stand by the statement. Um, so I'm not an apologist for the Israeli government, but let me ask you, what religion was Jesus? What did he believe? Uh, yeah, well, obviously he was Jew, but oh. modern-day Judaism is Hold on, is hold on. Really... Time out, time out, time out. No, no, no. Where was Jesus born? Well, some might say he was the first Christian. Well, hold on. Time out. Well, wh where was Jesus born? Why does that matter? Well, no, do you know? Why does that matter? Okay, yeah, you're obviously not a Christian. You don't know where Jesus was born. He was born in Bethlehem. Okay. In Judea. So, and he was raised in Nazareth, and yeah. he walked on the water in Capernaum. What country are those places in right now? What does it matter? If... It does matter. You know why? Because yeah. when I went to Israel, I came in contact with a living God that walked on water and rose Lazarus from the dead. When I went to Israel, I saw the Bible come to life. When I went to Israel, I saw Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Sarah, Rebecca, and Leah in the hall of the patriarchs. When I went to Israel, what I read is Bible stories popped open. And I said, this is the word of God. This is real. These are not fairy tales or fables or things that we tell our kids. Mm -hmm. When I went to Israel, I was able to cry where Jesus cried where he was betrayed by Judas and arrested, where he rose from the dead and gives us eternal life. I am not an apologist for Israel, but I reject wholeheartedly this narrative. Christians who turn their back on Israel, it says in Genesis and Romans and First Thessalonians, Paul said you will bless the Jews. If you bless Israel, you will be blessed. If you scorn Israel, you will be scorned. The Israeli government, plenty of suspicious things going on. How do we know the Bible is true? Every day, there are archaeological discoveries that confirm the truths of the Bible in 1 Samuel, in 1 Kings, in 1 Chronicles. There is a diabolical, satanic agenda every single day to try and delegitimize the scriptures. And I will defend the Holy Land, the place that let me see where my Lord and Savior lived. And I will not apologize for that. Thank you very much. Next question. Thank you. Wow. I never knew Charlie Cook knows the Bible that well. I'm surprised he even quotes the scriptures. This is a, is a shock to me. I never knew you know the scripture that well. Uh, it's beautiful. You know, uh, this, is, this is a lot. This is really a lot. I, I am shocked. Um, the students come in here to tell on Charlie if he's a stand by word. I said he fully will stand by words, and, and that is ever supposing by that for that. Because if if you have gone to Israel 
and you have seen what is really happening and you you understand why we believe in Jesus Christ, being a Christian myself, you understand that Christianity is real. It's not just spoken about or a doctrine or is a lie. It's real. It's happened. And prophecies are true. Whether I would choose to accept it or not, they are true. Uh, I know modern day Jews, according to what the guys tend to say, do not believe in the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We all accept that. It's true. They don't believe in that. And we Christians who believe in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But me saying Charlie defending Christianity in that manner, I am surprised. I am really shocked. I am happy and I'm glad. The student himself was 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 stoned. Like, are you serious? I love how Charlie defended Christianity. He keeps on defending Christianity and it makes me more proud of my own religion. And I admire him for that. Every single time he defends Christianity, it's it's beautiful to watch, and it's beautiful to to see that someone who believes in the same Christ with you can stand up for Christ when in public. I, I really respect Charlie for that. I'm hundred percent in support of him. And him saying, if Christians do not support um, Israel during this war, what's happening? That means they're not a true Christian. If you think about this statement properly. I would say it's actually harsh. So guys, comment down below, think about this video, give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers. Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got